Hey everybody, this is Rolf Mercedes, Black Ops, here for an update on Zen Cash. So it's August 14th, we've had a lot going on since the last update, hopefully y'all have been watching the YouTube channel, going to the blog, joining us on the Slack, um, getting updates from Bitcoin Talk. So we've got had a lot of things going on, and I wanted to give you a quick high level of that, um, as well as some, some details. We've, first off, I want to say we've got a community uh, open meeting on our Discord channel, the, the Gaming Interactive channel, Wednesday this week. So look for that announcement on the blog, and uh, we should be sending an email out about it, but it's, it's a great chance for people to ask questions of the team and uh, for us to answer them. We did that uh, about a week and a half ago. I missed it because I was traveling in Panama with my son, but um, we're having it again this week, and hopefully we're going to be able to do that on a regular, every two-week basis. For the people that are new to Zencash, let me give you a big picture overview of what Zencash is all about, and then I'll give you an update on where we are on some of the things. So first of all, Zencash is a cryptocurrency that's meant to be used. So everything that we're doing is towards a focus of usability for people around the world. And it's not a cryptocurrency that we're, we're saying, oh, you should just buy it and keep it on the exchange and things like that. We want people to download the wallet and use it, and use it to send Zencash to each other and uh, private messages and other things like that. And that's just going to continue to improve and improve. I'm going to tell you why that um, it's a cryptocurrency that's meant to be used. So first of all, in addition to the regular type of transactions like Bitcoin can do, which we call transparent transactions, where the sender, receiver, and the amount of funds is recorded on the blockchain, and you can show people, hey, look, I sent you the funds. Uh, we also have shielded transactions, which are for private transactions where even though it's recorded on the blockchain, you can't see who sent it, who received it, or the quantity. And the bonus with shielded transactions is they include 512 bytes for a message field. So in addition to sending private transactions, you can use the same method, the same path, that you send your <coughs> funds to also send messages. They're like, hey, uh, you know, agree about the work that's gonna be done, send the funds, verify that you got them, and so there's no, you don't have to have metadata like texts or web browsing or emails about the transaction. You communicate with it using Zencash and then you send the funds with Zencash. So very powerful. Uh, secure, reliable, and encrypted nodes. So being able to have a system that's up and running is really important. You have to have a, a good blockchain that's uh, held uh, that's kept up and running by the miners, so that's an important part. There also needs to be a bunch of nodes all over the world for people to connect their wallets to. And so we have secure nodes, and the idea behind secure nodes is that there's going to be a few thousand out there that are running encrypted communications between them using SSL certificates, and uh, also are powerful enough to do uh, encrypted transactions um, so that they can be protected against denial of service and things like that. We're also doing design guides on how to uh, set them up on commonly used ports, like port 80 and port 443. Um, and that's so important to us to have secure, encrypted uh, communication and lots of nodes all around the world that we're redirecting part of our mining rewards for it, 3.5% of it. Ongoing funding for development partnerships and marketing. This is really important as well. You can't just make a cryptocurrency and put it out there and then let, just let people run with it and um, things like that. There has to be constant improvement, uh, which means uh, funding development, um, uh, organizing it, project managing it, publishing specifications for improvements, and I'll talk a little bit about what our current development efforts are in a minute. Um, also partnerships. We've got to partner with exchanges, uh, with um, hardware wallet providers, uh, other things like that. There's lots of different people that we need to partner with and that takes funds. That's why we have ongoing funds. 8.5% of the mining reward gets redirected to the Treasury for these types of things. And marketing and public, public relations. It's great to have a wonderful cryptocurrency that does all sorts of things, but if nobody's ever heard of it and doesn't know how to use it and there isn't documentation, then it's, it's hard to continue to grow. So we think that's an important part of it as well. And then inclusive governance and international scope. Uh, so uh, translating all sorts of different documents and making sure we have people that have uh, can speak uh, multiple languages as part of our team is really important, both our community and, and our uh, core team as well. 
and then inclusive governance. You're going to see more about that right now. We have a forum where you can do proposals and we fund it, and we're going to get uh, more and more of a governance model rolled out as time goes on. I mean, Zen launched here at the end of May, so we're at about our three-month point. We've already accomplished quite a bit, and we've got a lot more that we're going to do. So that's the big picture on how Zen Cash is different. And let me give you a, an update on a few of the key initiatives that we've got right, going on right now. Software development is ongoing and uh, continuous with Zen Cash. So we have a great um, system that's running right now. The wallet's very usable. I use it to send funds and messages to people all the time. And all these uh, software things are done in our GitHub, so you can see the progress. Uh, if there's issues or things that you'd like to see, you're welcome to go put uh, issue trackers in or requests or things like that, um, because it just helps the software to improve. So uh, the big focus right now is on secure node development, and expect to have uh, the first version of our secure nodes uh, rolled out and working in about one to two months. And this is a centralized type system. Uh, and then once we get that out and running and we can see what the appetite is for people to be running secure nodes all over the world, um, we'll have a better feeling for how we're going to develop the second version over the next period of time, which will be a decentralized version. But it's, it's important for us to get a uh, version of secure nodes out and running because this really keeps the network reliable, protected, um, and all sorts of other important things. So there's two parts of this. One is the tracking, reporting, and payment system. Uh, the lead on that is DevMan. If you're on our, uh, if you're on our Slack or on our forum, and you go to the secure node channel or the development nodes channel, you're going to see that there's a lot of conversation about uh, running the tracking and reporting system because uh, the DevMan and uh, the different con contributing uh, developers as well as people who run test nets have been working on the what was two weeks ago the alpha version is uh, rapidly turning into the beta version of the tracking system so there's great progress on that that's being made and that's really exciting the other part that's important to this is integrating the TLS so SSL certificates into the Zen node software and this is the lead on this is Andre and LP Sun and you'll also see their discussions in development also. So the people that are running testnet servers right now are testing both the tracking system as well as uh, TLS integration. So the idea is that if you have an SSL certificate and you're running a secure node, um, that's, the, that, that's the, the most secure version of the node. And people that don't have a uh, SSL certificate from a certificate authority use self-signed SSL certs, so all the uh, information that's being sent from wallets and nodes to nodes uh, is encrypted traffic, which is great because that's not the way most traffic for most cryptocurrencies is. It can actually be analyzed by things like Wireshark and stuff like that. Okay, so we've got two different wallets. Um, right now, our recommendation is to, if you're using a wallet, to use a Swing wallet because we've got Mac and Linux and Windows versions. Um, that our lead on that is Maklinoff. Um, in fact, he's doing pretty much most of the development. It is in our GitHub, so if there's things that you'd like to see or recommendations that, that you make, again, please uh, put those in there. I know I do that. Um, right now, he's working on the one-to-one -one messaging. So you can already do messaging from a shielded uh, to a, a shielded um, uh, address. But to make it a, a useful messaging interface, we need to be able to have names and keep track of your messages and conversations and things like that. So that, that's what he's working on. And on the roadmap for improvements to our wallets in the future after that is one-to-many messaging. So think of a, a hashtag in Twitter where you can follow along to, um, and, and all sorts of people can listen in on, on a conversation. And once you have that, where you have one person publishing and a bunch of people getting the or sending a message and a bunch of people receiving that then you're able to move towards publishing and so in that 512 byte uh, field on the secure messaging we're able to send a link or uh, a, um, a 
a series of uh, hexadecimal uh, characters that can reference things on the interplanetary file system. IPFS is the same thing that Filecoin is built on. It's led by uh, Juan Benet. And um, it's, it's, uh, I've tested it, and, and I really enjoy how it works. So I'll do a how-to on, on that soon. Um, Lucas is leading the development of the Arizon. I hope I'm saying that right. Arizon wallet. Um, and that's the replacement for the Elios wallet. So different technology, different capabilities. I love that we're having multiple wallets being developed by really good developers. Um, so these are the, the main development projects that we're focused on right now. Uh, other things that we're doing on wallets, um, we, we're working with Coinomi, which has a multi-coin wallet on Android. Uh, I think they also have plans to do other platforms than, than Android, but we're just finishing up the integration with them. It was going to happen sooner, but there was this thing with Bitcoin where they had to give Bitcoin cash. And I, don't know. I thought our stuff was more important, but uh, I guess Bitcoin is pretty important too. Um, hardware wallet, uh, we've started working with Ledger to get uh, Zencash on the Ledger. So that's a process also, just like everything is a process, and it takes money and time and development effort, uh, but we're working through the process. And that's what's important, to make continued forward progress. And we have a great team that's doing all this. Exchanges. We're reaching out to many different exchanges right now. We've got good volume. Uh, we've got good community. We've got a good cryptocurrency. Um, so this is the time when we start reaching out to all sorts of other exchanges uh, to get liquidity and people in various various parts of the world the ability to invest in Zen Cash, um, at least to get 42 so they could run a secure node. But it's probably better to get a little bit more than that. Um, so Evercoin is a neat one. It's kind of like Shapeshift. It's a, it's a little bit new, um, where you can do anonymous uh, purchases uh, like Bitcoin to Zen Cash or Ethereum to Zen Cash or, or stuff like that. So check out uh, Evercoin and you're going to see a lot more exchange announcements soon as well. Invest, is Master Update, um, an investment group reached out to me and said, look, can you, get, j can you just put together an update where you, know, you talk about what your differentiation, what your value proposition is, and uh, some of the things that make you special. So I'm like, yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, so I wrote that up, and that's about a six-page PDF that can be downloaded from our blog. And our, our blog, we try to make things pretty simple, so our blog is just blog.zencash blog.zensystem.io blog.zensystem.io go there and it's one of the newest ones uh, there is a Serbian version of it as well because uh, translations for all our different white papers and uh, documents are really important to us that's why we have a bunch of uh, Bitcoin talks Bitcoin talk threads in different languages and we really like to have uh, people in different countries who speak different languages uh, translate and, and be our, uh, our lead all over the world. Because again, we want this to be a worldwide cryptocurrency that's usable everywhere. And our website, we're going through a redesign on that. So our, our website right now is, is great to get us started. Uh, but we've got um, our marketing team, which is Crypto Media Hub. Uh, you'll see uh, Tatiana and Callie and Brian. Uh, sometimes in the Slack. Uh, so we're working with uh, a marketing team to do a whole bunch of different things. Uh, marketing, branding, new website, all sorts of different things like that. Uh, you're probably seeing more social media activity uh, and stuff like that. So that's, that's important for us to get the word out to our potential users and uh, partners and things like that. And uh, public relations. Public relations being different than marketing. Um, we're continuing to work with Watchman uh, PR on that. Uh, they've been a great partner with us so far and continue, uh, we continue to look forward to working with them. So that's the big picture update. Uh, overall, to summarize, things are going well. Uh, we, our development team continues to grow. We've got a great bunch of people that are contributing all across the board. Um, our Slack is a fun place to be with all sorts of different discussions. Um, and people from all over the world uh, talking about all sorts of stuff. So I feel really good about what, we're, what we've got going on with Zencash, and I'm excited to be part of this. So sorry it took so long for this uh, video update since the last one. We're going to continue to keep everybody in the loop of what's going on, and we've got an exciting project. So thanks for being part of it.